Hello guys, this is Metal Luban. In today's video, we're going to talk about the latest product from Beatman, the Airminer S21 and uh, S21 Hydro, and also the impact that are caused by it. As you all know, Binmain has published the S21 series at the conference in Dubai, which uses a different process and that's even more advanced than the S19 series 5 nanometer from TSMC. Compared with the previous S19 series, efficiency ratio has increased by up to 40%. The S21 Hydro can operate stably in under environment of 40 degrees. Even if the ambient temperature rises to 45 degrees, it can also maintain its optimal condition. Although the performance of S21 is slightly inferior to S21 Hydro, but its stable performance and uh, adaptability enable it to maintain stable operation on the environment of uh, 45 degrees. No matter what environment you are in, the S21 can stay at its best and be extremely efficient. I think there is no doubt the S21, uh, the release of S21 series, will start a new round of uh, Bitcoin mining arms race. The appearance design of the machine remains unchanged. The original double-ended power cord has been replaced by a single-ended one, making the power supply design much simpler and uh, also made the later operation and the maintenance of the machine more convenient. The computing power of both machines has significantly improved compared to the previous S19 series. Moreover, the energy efficiency ratio is also dropped below Thanks to this, it will reduce the electricity bills in a great extent and increase profits. Although we haven't got any S21 series right now, we and our partner have started joint ordering and we have already ordered tens of thousands S21 on Bitmain. From the official website, we can learn that the price of the S21 series 35 USDT per ten hash. But if you buy the machines from us, the price will be even cheaper than halving that price. So if anyone are watching this video or interested, you can watch the video in the Production and send us an email to get more information. S21 Hydro has a hash rate of 335 terahash and the energy efficiency ratio is only 16. It firmly ranks at the top of the list of Bitcoin income with a single unit income of uh, approximately 14 USDT per day. That, is, that surprised me because I had a water cooling mining machine running too and uh, the daily profit was only 7. I think I should consider S21 Hydro as a better choice although the S21 is it's an air-cooled mining machine with its powerful hash rate. It's still ranked first in the revenue of air-cooled mining machine in the same model category. And that's more even higher than some ordinary water-cooled mining machine. So if you don't have the condition to run a water-cooled mining machine, the S21 air-cooled mining machine is undoubtedly a better choice for you. On the present, Bitmain has sold about 200,000 S21 units with a theoretic hash rate of about 40E and the hash rate of the entire network is now around 466E. Including the 50% computing power of new miners, it is expected to be around 550E by then. This is an exaggeration. This time it is half and it is expected that the machine with an energy efficiency ratio of more than 30 watts will not be able to operate. Therefore, 40% of the entire network computing power has should be eliminated this time, which is expected to be 200E. Among them, 20% of high power machines with extremely low electricity prices will not be affected, which means about 160E will be eliminated. I predict that the halving will happen and uh, within months the computing power of the entire network will decrease from this
this point of view, the wait and see mood is still very serious. 550 minus 160 is 390. A reasonable value of the entire network might be around 400E. If the currency prices does not rise after the halving, the computing power structure of the entire network will probably be like this. Countries with high electricity price migrate to countries with low prices. And high power consuming mining machines shut down, survive with superior resources and the low power consumption with reasonable electricity prices. However, what if the currency price rises to more than 60,000 or even higher like 70,000 or 80,000? All miners will be revived again, I think. Bitcoin ETFs, Bitcoin on-chain smart contracts and the Federal Reserve interest rates cut next year. It seems all to be the time of next year's harvest and it all will be a good news for the bull market engine. And now the number of long-term currency holders has reached a record high and the number of exchange contracts holding is also a record low. Everyone is waiting for this good news. During this period, I spent a lot of uh, effort building my own water-cooled mining equipment, among which I also purchased some S19 XP Hydro and S19 Pro Hydro. And I also upgraded my own S19 Pro 104 terahertz to water cooling, but also found some real problems. Although the water cooling mining it's definitely gonna be the future trend, but the threshold of water cooling mining is still a bit high. It is difficult for some retail investors to bear the infrastructure of water cooling mining in the, under the existing water cooling mining difficulty and the mining cost. So the release of the Adminer S21 200 terahertz air-cooled high power computing machine just fill this gap and its energy efficiency ratio is only 17.5. The release of this machine means that the machines with an energy efficiency ratio of more than 25 watts will gradually disappear from the stage of history and the S21 Air will soon start. So that is all the latest relevant news of the S21 series. If you want to know more information about the S21 series in the future, don't forget to watch the introduction of, uh, of this video and uh, uh, leave a comment and uh, most importantly don't forget to subscribe us and most importantly don't forget to subscribe us so this is Metaluban's YouTube channel make mining much easier and we will see you next time bye bye guys